the news you count on. NBC2 News at 530. We've been a hotbed of innovation, and I think that that story needs to be told even more. And speaking of that, continuing to advance towards the future, that's exactly what is happening at Centennial Park there in Fort Myers. Innovation Walk will bring new colorful and interactive sculptures to the popular park. NBC2's Mohamed Abdul Kawi is local tonight in downtown Fort Myers looking at the next steps for this new attraction. After two months of waiting, we're finally getting our first look at what the new Innovation Walk will look like before it's being built here in Centennial Park. People are already excited to see the interactive installations. Also, that helps the parents to spend time with them that I call the quality time. I think it's a sign of progress. I think it looks good. An installation celebrating the human desire to fly focuses on light and one highlighting the Calusa indigenous Americans in their everyday life. These are the three renderings that the Fort Myers CRA commissioners approved this week. You can interact with its interactive art, which I think is um, kind of a new concept that Americans aren't really that familiar with yet, but uh, it's being introduced. The CRA is already working on the next step. Right now, they are negotiating contracts with these artists that you see on your screen for the final product. LaShawn Middlebick's Collier from the CRA says the anticipation is growing every second. Our team is already behind the scenes, reaching out to each of the innovators, getting a timeline together, um, getting a project um, just timelining the project. This project's main goal is to inspire everyone who visits the city. I do hope and I expect that it will spark some other people to think big, to think grand, to think innovatively and creatively as well. These installations will be available to the public in February of next year. Reporting in downtown Fort Myers, Muhammad Abdul Kawi, NBC2.